From Sarasota Memorial and the Deb Kavanaugh Multimedia Studio, this is HealthCast, a healthy dose of information from experts you can trust. Hi, everybody. Welcome to HealthCast. I'm Allison Gottermeyer. Thank you so much for joining us today as we discuss how nurses can really have a positive impact on the hospital and the community using some programs that they help implement here at the Sarasota Memorial Hospital, Sarasota campus, making it a magnet designated hospital. Our guest today is Corinne Brown, one of the magnet program directors here at SMH. Corinne, thank you so much for being with us. Hi, Allison, thank you for having me. So let's start with the basics because Sarasota Memorial Hospital's Sarasota campus has now been accredited as a magnet organization five separate times. So what is Magnet and why is it such a big deal? So Magnet is the highest, most prestigious credential an organization can earn and achieve. It is very hard to get and it is very hard to keep. That is why it's a big deal. And five times, that's also a huge deal. That is a huge deal. Uh, each designation period is a approximately four years. Uh, then there's some additional time for the site visit and other things that happen. So to be able to have the designation over that period of time repeatedly is substantial. Why should patients seek out a magnet hospital if they can? Patients should seek out a magnet hospital because magnet hospitals indicate that they have met the most stringent and evidence-based standards available in healthcare for nursing. And what it means is that patients will get the best care from the best nurses in the nation right here at home. So let's talk about some of those nurse-driven programs at the Sarasota Memorial's Sarasota campus, helping to make it a magnet designated organization. Can you start by telling us first about the SANE program and, and a little bit about how it came about. So yes, SANE stands for Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner and the evidence-based SANE program was developed in direct response to the needs of our community. So what is so special about the SANE program at SMH? Because that SANE certification already existed, right? Right. So what's special about SANE here at SMH is that prior to the development of this program, it was nurse driven, based on the needs of the community, there was no formal structure in place to provide continuous evidence-based quality care to this vulnerable patient population. So when you say it was nurse-driven, can you kind of walk us through how it came to be? Basically what happens is that if there is a sexual assault survivor in the community that interfaces with law enforcement or first responders, those, those people need care and they need very specific health care in a very specific time frame in a very specific way. And so what happens is that they will then be taken to the nearest emergency care center to receive that urgent care and emergent care. So what happens when they arrive, or what does not happen when they arrive, will really further determine their course of action moving forward in terms of their personal recovery, physically, emotionally, psychologically, as well as legally their ability to prosecute for the offense. So talk a little bit about how it came to grow into such a successful program here at SMH. So there was a nurse in the emergency care center here in Sarasota, and she recognized that there was a need for patients um, and, and sexual assault survivors in the community to get a level of care that was not really present throughout the community at the time. And being that she is a member of Sarasota Memorial and the mission to do what's right for our patients to the best of our ability, she worked with her nursing director to get the resources in place and collaborate with the ECC physicians to get the resources and structures in place so that when these patients came, they would be able to get the care that they needed, the right care the first time. So how has this impacted patients who have come to SMH Sarasota already? So as a result of this program's development and implementation, we are now able to provide round-the-clock care. We have nurses on call 24-7 who can provide this very high specialized level of care to the patients in our community should they require it. So how will this ultimately impact patients in other communities? Because other hospitals are taking note of this program and the Commission on Magnet Recognition actually recognized this as a best practice. Yes, the Commission did recognize this as a best practice. And what that means is that when the Commission acknowledges this, it is something that they believe other magnet hospitals should uh, implement or try to exemplify in some way. 
and the impact it has for patients outside of Sarasota County and the neighboring counties as well is that now first responders who have patients who need this specialized type of care will bring their patients to us um, because they know that when they bring those patients here, they will get the right care the first time, the high level quality care the first time. So that's just one of the nurse driven programs implemented here at Sarasota Memorial, Sarasota campus. I also want to talk about TCTC. Can you talk about what that is specifically? TCTC stands for Trauma Center Transport Criteria. And Trauma Center Transport Criteria is identified by the state in terms of making sure that you have patients that are in a trauma-like situation, whatever that might be. When an, an EMS first responder arrives on the scene and they do an assessment of the patient condition, we always want to be sure that the patient goes to the right place the first time so that they can get the level of care that matches their need. And so the criteria helps to make that happen. There is also a component in that criteria that's uh, at the discretion. So perhaps there might be other considerations in the situation that are not completely outlined in that criteria. And Sarasota Memorial nurses the, worked with the Sarasota Memorial Hospital Trauma Program and the Sarasota County Fire EMS to offer some more considerations and clarification under the um, discretion piece that allowed for a more precise assessment of the situation so that patients could be routed more directly to the right place the first time. And with Sarasota Memorial being a trauma center, it's incredibly important that those patients arrive quickly, correct? It's important that they arrive quickly to the right place the first time. That may be a trauma center, it may not be a trauma center. That's the whole point of the criteria is that you get patients to the right level of care the first time because we know that when they arrive to the right place the first time, they have better outcomes. How does this ultimately impact trauma patients in our region? Of course, no one wants to think about a situation where they may have a trauma or someone they love is a trauma patient, but it, it can happen. So it's important that they have this in place, correct? The bottom line is that trauma patients have better outcomes when they're transported to the right facility the first time so that they can get the care they need the first time in a timely manner. And with the integration of evidence-based considerations into the trauma center transport criteria, the EMTs in the fields are now really able to use that as an additional resource to really ensure that the patients are making it to the right facility at the right time. Can you talk about the magnet nursing culture, which leads to nurse-driven programs like this even coming to fruition? A magnet culture supports and protects the structures and processes in place that allow nurses to evaluate quality data and to develop programs or processes or whatever it, it will take to improve the outcomes that we're looking at. Basically, a magnet culture aligns very well with the Sarasota Memorial mission statement where we have services that excel in caring quality and innovation. So if we recognize something isn't the way we want it to be, nurses are supported and encouraged to work and affect change so that we can do the best for our patients. And the two programs we just spoke about, SANE and TCTC, have resulted in positive change, not just within the walls of the hospital, but really for the community as a whole and outside of the hospital as well, correct? It has, yes, absolutely. So as a Magnet Program Director, you and your co-director work very hard to spotlight what nurses are doing within the hospital. And we've talked before that your job is to spotlight those things that others are doing. Why is that so important to you and why do you enjoy that part? of your, your role? I enjoy it a lot. Um, as a nurse, when I was on the floor caring for patients, everything I did was to help support the patient through their journey, whatever that might be, whether it was a journey for a death with dignity because for a hospice patient or whether it was helping someone get the treatment they needed so they could go home and be with their family. Um, there were patients that I would work with so that they could get what they needed because they just wanted to see their grandson graduate whatever the goal was, but the whole point was supporting them on the journey and, and recognizing what was important to them. 
And I think with the transfer into the magnet program director role, I don't do patient care anymore directly. So the nurses have really become very important to me in, in filling that space. And as a magnet program director, what I can do is help nurses look at their work in a different way. And, and more indirectly, I can influence you know, patients in terms of if I highlight nurses and I celebrate the work that they do, then what it does is it allows for advancement and further support of their work, which ultimately comes out to quality outcomes, which ultimately affects the patient. And the nurses are excited to share their work with you, right? Nurses are excited. They do. They seek us out. And what was really interesting is when um, my co-director and I started in this role, there was sort of a lot of mystery about, you know, Magnet and, and what was it really about and was the work I was doing, you know, good enough to be included. You know, there were a lot of thoughts, you know, people didn't really recognize it for what it was. And we have been excited to sort of adjust um, through a lot of education, a lot of dialogue, a lot of changes in structures. We've been able to really help people better understand the value and the impact of the work that they do. And so they're beginning to really be excited about the work. And now Jamie and I are just in a wonderful place where we are able to capture so much and highlight it in a way that we weren't able to before. And, and that's very, very exciting. Because SANE and TCTC are just two of the nurse-driven programs that have been implemented at the Sarasota campus. Right? Correct. Yep. Um, when a nurse brings a new program to you guys and, and they're excited about it, what, what's that like for you both to, to work with them and, and get to highlight that to the Commission on Magnet? So we get very excited when nurses come to us because the interesting thing about magnet designation is although it recognizes nurses and nursing culture and structures and processes, all of that, it is ultimately an outcomes driven designation. And the nice thing about outcomes, empirical outcomes, as opposed to process outcomes or other types, is that empirical outcomes speak to everyone, whether you're a nurse or not. So if, for example, if you th say, I'm going to go to Sarasota Memorial Hospital, I'm going to get this high quality care, and as a result, my admission duration will be shorter, so length of stay will be shorter. That means something to everyone, whether you're a nurse or a physician or a pharmacist or a patient or a family member, everyone sees shorter length of stay as a value. And that's really exciting. So with the magnet application, when nurses come to us with their ideas, we are able to help them align the work with the outcomes so that we can show the value and impact of their work to not just nurses, but to all healthcare providers as well as patients in the community. And when the Commission on Magnet Recognition looks at that application, and recently when they provided that fifth um, designation, they, they went through those exemplars and they, they brought up things that they think should be standards of care. When that happens, that's more than just like a great application. The nursing staff feels that and they feel the pride for that. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, are there any final thoughts about Magnet you want to share with patients uh, or potential patients, community members you think it's important that they know? Sarasota, SMH Sarasota, is very proud to serve its community and it has a commitment to doing the best it can for its patients and the community at large. And a, th a fifth Magnet designation really exemplifies SMH's vision to be the best place to be a patient, the best place to work, and the best place to practice medicine. And I think a magnet designation absolutely helps to make that a reality. All right, Kryn Brown, thank you so much for joining us today. And as always, we encourage everyone in the community to visit smh.com to get the latest from Sarasota Memorial. Have a great day.